the playoffs begin. Super Wild Card Weekend. And begins with the Cleveland Browns going on the road to take on the Houston Texans. Um, the real question is, how did the Browns get here? Here. Well, it's quite... Si well, it's, well, it's, well, well, that, well, that's easy. It's because of their fucking defense playing lights out the majority of the season. And this is despite the fact that they had to play, what, uh, four starting quarterbacks before the final week of the, of the regular season. But other than that, it's been their defense. It's been their defense. Of course, this is despite the fact that Deshaun Watson uh, was out for the for the for the remainder of the season due to his due to a shoulder injury. But that's all ancient history. It's about it's about Joe Flacco. Go oh, playoff Flacco to boot. Let's see if let's see if Flacco still has some of that playoff magic. And then you got the Houston Texans. How did they? How did they get here? Well, it's quite simple. Jacksonville choked on the final week of the regular season. Not, but the but the Houston Te In all seriousness, though, the Houston Texans did a really good job building around C.J. Stroud early, early in the season. You could thank uh, the Cleveland Browns for those draft picks. <laughs> this is that, that. That's what makes it even funnier. Funnier, in my opinion. But uh. Yeah, it's not just C.J. Stroud's that offensive line. They've got, they've got some, they're, they've got some re nice receivers developing, and D'Amico Ryan's, who should be the NFL's uh, uh, coach of the year. I mean, it's and of course C.J. Stroud should be offensive rookie of the year. I mean, it's it's. I mean, there's really no other way to put it, and C.J. Stroud is is trying to become the first quarter. Rookie quarterback to win a playoff game since uh since Brock Purdy last year. Here, this Texas team is still young. This Texas team is still young and a little and a tad bit inexperienced. But it's nice for the rookie quarterback to get some playoff experience. And let's just hope C.J. Stroud doesn't get in doesn't get suffer a, a catastrophic injury that might ruin his NFL career. Here. With that being said, who do I have winning this one? Well, I hate to say it, but it's the, I, I, I think it's going to be the Cleveland Browns again. Don't get it twisted. Houston Houston won the trade, but the, the Deshaun Watson trade. I, right, I, I don't think there should be any arguments against that. But, but the Browns have, but the Browns, as far as the ro as far as the roster goes. Are just the better team at this point in time. So therefore, take the Cleveland Browns to defeat the Houston Texans. And yes, I'm going. And yes, before I end this video, I'm going to do these videos one game at a time, like I did last year. Don't like it? Take take something inanimate and stick it where the sun doesn't shine. Shine. I'm not putting up with people turning on me this year. This year, fuck you on that shit. So till next time, later, fuckers.